natural selection is the phenomenon in which some individuals of a population die and others survive. And those are, who survive are those who are adapted for the requirements of that environment. So the environment has selected those individuals which pass on their genes to the next generation, who will thus be also adapted to that environment. In some cases, natural selection keeps the norm. Natural selection does not always induce change. So there could be cases where the extremes of a population in terms of phenotype are at a disadvantage, and those which are more the median phenotype have the most success, as those in the median population produce more offspring, the mean of the population will therefore be maintained throughout generations. This is stabilizing selection. In other cases, known as directional selection, one of the extremes is at a disadvantage and is less likely to pass alleles on to the next generation while the other extreme is favored. So there will be a shift in the mean of the population over time as more and more individuals at one end of the spectrum survive, while at the other end of the spectrum fewer individuals survive. There are also cases of disruptive selection in which the average individuals are at a disadvantage and less likely to pass their genes on to the next generation, while those at either extreme of the population are more likely to pass on their genes. In such cases, the population is thus more likely to have members represented by the extreme phenotypes of the original population, and this often favors the formation of two species which are isolated from each other from a single ancestral population. In these examples, please predict how the population will tend to change over time because of the selection it undergoes.